And uh, in a very horrible manner, I was framed for five charges of planning coup, gun running, being in possession of legend of purchase properties, and then I assumed that was coordinating and planning a coup to remove the then government that I handed over to power and came to Inuku in the most humble ground as officer in charge of uh, the intelligence for the division. Now, today is Friday, and it may look simple, but if you look at it deeply and carefully, not because of the coincidence that it is Friday, there are other meanings that I can go there for. Actually, Guru Almighty speaks to mankind using figures. He has endowed mankind, the genies and angels, with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. After 9, then 0. This is the true meaning of cycle. Um, if you look at the cycle, the fullness of it is 9. Meaning 3 plus 6 plus 0, 360 degrees. If you add it up, what you have is 9 meaning the highest field. It is also zero as a start point. It's also nine, so it's also 360 degrees. It's a message. I can see this 19 years from when I was taken away on a Friday. And my coming back home to Ilugu in this symbolic manner, though quietly, but being warmly accepted at home, the only division that I have served twice in my career has a meaning. Yes, we are ambassadors of peace. When coordinated castigations, well put, were thrown at us, even before the emergence of General Bacha in power, the government of General Bacha was actually one of those we supported to remain in power. We have had rules of others uh, from Shabbat's time, the Mercedes, in helping them to stay in power and protecting them from many, many plans that were to get them out. Many risky assignments, all for Nigeria to remain intact. Uh, God has helped us to assignments that were for in protecting governments from that time to 1998, we are successful. God also helped us in protecting plans to take away all the government then with us at the forefront of it. And this is what many people do not know, meaning the risks involved in protecting Nigeria has had us playing greater role. So it's not by our strength all riches, all wisdom that God Almighty has projected us to come first for is by His wish. The journey was also a journey that was exceptionally traumatic in the sense that uh, all types of detention are what we experienced. Uh, to me, Staying in prison for the 15 years I was away was indeed a picnic compared to the solitary detention I went through with torture of all kinds. It left me with numerous wounds. And then unattended on most places, no medical attention, no visitation, no access to lawyers, family members, friends. But to me, that was a school. I was kept by man. We rendered services in this country that many elders cannot define yet. That was why the little opportunities we have had 
to uh, go forward to speak. To speak. There were so many daring things I said. While I was looking at it lightly as nothing, at the higher headquarters they were looking at it very seriously and having so many meetings. But to me, those were tiny little things that they saw as big. In the cupboard of uh, the, the skeletons kept, meaning the tales of the, un, un, the unexpected in Nigeria, has had so much that is rich in my diary. But again, we have come this far to continue with what we started, even before the government to the world by Jordan Moyes. From individual destiny to collective just destiny, one may find himself having friends at uh, the beginning of a particular phase of life, waiting for one to continue to make new faces, and then sometimes mm. you have to leave them and then meet them at another point. That is what life is all about. Throughout this, from 1984, some of us found ourselves promoting peace, supporting the weak, promoting orphans and widows across Nigeria, and creating opportunities for the youth of all sorts. Classes of Nigerians who are privileged to have been given opportunities, rather than helping the poor, rather than promoting peace, they cling on to it and then created bulging pockets in supporting themselves. And they have a trend of uh, attitude or character that is for themselves, of themselves, by themselves. And even the majority languishing in poverty and the deemed hope and having a blink of the future, particularly the poor and their children. Now, crisis continue to happen in Nigeria. But I must tell you, and uh, difficult to believe them, the most of, in the class of those who are high up, those who are enjoying respect may be the key ones investing for the trouble in Nigeria. The more crisis, the higher opportunities for contracts to supply in defense, to supply food and medicine, and for them to continue to become relevant in the troubled state, those with few money in their hands are regarded as the rich. So they wouldn't want anything to eat. What happened with uh, Mobutu Sesoseko yesterday, where all boats leading to rural areas were untied and kept untied. So those in rural areas would find it difficult to come to see. That is in another direction what is happening to Nigeria. Those who are influenced and rich, rich, they have the ladder. They are always at the top. But no sooner they are there, the ladder is removed for the poor to climb and attain. This is the way we are. So as Nigerians, we have a responsibility of getting to know who we are, holding hands together, and then having a common goal or common goals from north to south so that we can now have defined directions that we must be seen to attain. Those who have money and influence are weaker when it comes to unity and direction. That is uh, the goal of man. We have the number, we have the strength, we have the zeal, we have the education, we have the enlightenment, and we have the spirit of true brotherhood. If only we can do that from north to south, some obstacles that are considered almost impossible to remove will naturally be removed. And this is actually part of uh, the reason why peace education and its own wings will shift the same to carry messages of unity and hope in the people so that we can hold hands together and create a new Nigeria. A new Nigeria, not from the tourist point of view, no, a Nigeria where scientifically we can look at what we have and make projections for years ahead and do or take giant strides that will support the generation today 
and generations to come tomorrow as against total exploitation of God-given resources for the people. That, to me, uh, speaks more. It is disheartening to take the steps in us to get what you see in every street, in every street without exception in Nigeria, what you see are traces of poverty in the people. There are exceptionally very few people who have made it, and they are on the sorry side, exploiting the country the more. So having partners that are promoting peace gives us a sense of joy and to us no commitment and the same to throw that uh, spirit of brotherhood so that we can partner together to make the difference in Nigeria. To us, from the little you saw, from the NGO, now it has some branches. There is a school, an institute that we create, or we have created, that is affiliated to University of the Future, and it is called APIS, meaning Al Mustafa Peace Unity and Development Initiative. <laughs> Social Rehabilitation and Peace Studies. Uh, there are programs we run that are not captured in most of the curriculum in our universities. We worked that out and then went through and today we are registered and accepted. So we run degree programs, uh, first masters of the PhD to whosoever wishes to. I wish to say from the speeches I have had, and from the spirit with which, not simply because I'm honored, no, but from the deep messages we have heard from you, you and your associations are free to converse with us and to find some uh, uh, us, uh, useful for you to utilize the services of this institute. I want to say that for the thoughtfulness, for the silent monitoring, and for the relationship you have with your mentor, Elijah Abdul Karim, and then for the messages from the chief, and the only chief we talked about that uh, crowned me, and then to the host of your members, represented by the beautiful faces here, and then from your interpreter, whose parts are in the north and in the southeast, whose answer <laughs> is partially Igbo, <laughs> whose Igbo is also partially Hausa. <laughs> something of beauty to learn there from, from all of you and from mm -hmm. our entourage. For this gesture done to us, I must say, I thank you so very much. And I hope we will continue to now pass messages of hope of trust and self-reliance onto your girls. Finally, when a man goes through hardship and fails to realize who he is and fails to know his capacity, then it's a man that has gone through the hardship, but then with experience is lost. I pray when hardship comes to any of our brothers and sisters, we don't pray for it, but when it does come, the blessings or the wisdom to tap there from and make sense with it is what we will try as Nigerians and utilize. God bless him, God bless Nigeria, God bless our future, and God help us. Thank you very much. Given a speech in the Golden Royal Building where he was crowned the Ochudo. Acts and in our conduct to do only those things that will promote peace in Nigeria because we know and we believe that together we are stronger in unity and in harmony. So as we have come together peacefully, Lord, let us part in peace and harmony. We give glory to the Almighty God as we do. Thank you, Father.